tell. Is this on? Rocky Robin. Tweet. Tweet, tweet, Rocky Robin. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of What's Wrong With Wrestling. I'm Andrew Pisano, along with my brother Joe Pisano and Eric Slamilton Hamilton. Guys, it wasn't long ago where I was telling you that I was enjoying wrestling again. Raw was getting better. There was a decent pay-per-view. Which one was decent? Where we didn't hate it. Was it the Money last? in the Bank? Yeah, maybe yeah. Money in the Bank. Yeah, Money yeah, in the Bank I was, was like, okay. oh my God, things are getting better. I can't wait for SummerSlam. Boy, were you wrong. Wow. You I wasn't got, wrong. Got. At the time, I was right. But what happened was, you see, there's this thing where, like, we're seeing the same of everything, and they're just repeating it. I don't understand why they're expecting to sell a pay-per-view <laughs> where we're going to see the same exact things again. Ex exactly. How many matches from Extreme Rules, Andrew? Four. Four, Four. matches from the last Kevin hey, Owens versus Strowman. Saw it. Seth Rollins versus Ziggler. And this will be a shittier version. Saw it. Jeff Hardy versus Nakamura. Saw it. Balor well, versus kind of. Corbin again. Again. Balor again. versus Corbin. Again. Again. <laughs> Not even like That's, Demon King. And then don't even include, you know, Brock versus Roman for the sixth time. This right. year. There's five matches we've seen already. Yeah. Blah. And Becky versus Charlotte versus... Uh, seen it. Insert someone Pretty much. else there. Yes, we've seen it. So it's just blah. <sighs> blah. What blah. else is new? We have to get into how it. Did the, I didn't even see how SmackDown ended. How did it end? Um, well, we'll tell you later. Yeah, we All will. Right. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but before we get to the recaps, we have to thank eight new people on Patreon. Eight, eight, eight. eight, eight I'm eight. doing it. I'm doing it. All right. Hey, thanks, I, John. I, I, I'll, I'll do it this week. I haven't done it in a long time. All right. Fine, go ahead, do it. All right. Hey. Hey. Good. John Ward, thanks. Thanks, John. Jonathan Daly. Thanks, Jonathan. Tyrone Grizz. Thanks, Tyrone. The Grizz. Oh. Danny Bernie. Appreciate you, Danny. Collins Gilfoy. Thanks, Collins. Love Gilfoy from that show. Yeah. Michael Paterzo. Yep. Shrek. Thanks, Apparently, buddy. Apparently, his He's real an name. onion. He's his, an onion. Uh, he told me it's his real name. Yeah. Really? So, He's yeah, an onion. Great. And Jalen Miller. Thanks, Jalen. Kyle Jalen. Thanks, I think buddy. I skipped Michael. Thanks, Michael. Nope, no, no, didn't. Joe said I that skipped. I, I, oh, I just said okay. Skipped. Like, And I, now I'll read the names. What yeah, are we doing? I don't, I don't what like, are we doing? I don't like doing it because I'd rather comment on them. You're right. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. But Andrew's these, a good these, straight man on this. Every one of these, all eight of these men or women. What, do you feel stupid mispronouncing names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they sh these people should all be celebrated. Of course. Yeah. They are. They're going all in. They have joined the club. They are part of the club you have going all in. You have joined the Balor Club on this evolution. The yes. Dolor Club. Oh, are we there? If No, they're more than the Dolor Club. But anyways, Dolor if you club. want to join them, you can go to patreon.com slash what's wrong with wrestling for exclusive recaps and rewards you can't get anywhere else. Right? Right. Can't. Good. Yeah. Wait till you guys see... If you were wa if you weren't watching Facebook Live pre-show, which you should always be doing, I think we might be getting a little Abraxas movie review. Yeah, with Jesse the Mind Ventura. I don't know if anyone wants it, but we do. So <laughs> we want it. Well, so it's got to be so bad it's good. It's got to be one of those. Yeah, I know. it's oh, got to sure. be. I look mean, at it. Look, famous last words. I think we're all hype, and we're just gonna shit on this movie. But I can't wait. <laughs> we need yeah. to watch that one together. Because it might so, be yeah. so boring that we have to. Yeah. So I don't know. Please, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. We figure that out. Yeah. Um, but there's breakfast. A... Eric will bring breakfast again. Well, wa yeah, we'll watch it. Yeah. yeah, those tacos were good last were good, time. Buddy. I know they were. Yeah. I've noticed you kept the brisket one for yourself. Oh well, I didn't know what you guys wanted. I know what I the wanted. the brisket one. Okay, that's <laughs> all you have to say. Good I job. mean, I don't know about sorry, Joe, but... Is, sorry, bacon wasn't good enough for you, Joe. No, hey, it Eric, Eric, it was perfectly fine for me. Okay. Next time, I'd like two, though. Okay. All right, so on to the Raw and SmackDown recaps. We kick off Raw with Kurt Angle and Constable Corbin. Kurt hypes Rousey's first match on Raw. 
And then he moves on to Brock Lesnar, who he says has no class. Right. You remember he got F5'd by him last week, so obviously he's not happy. Exactly. And he's about to make some decision about Brock, but then out comes Roman Reigns. And Roman tells Kurt, you should have known better last week. If you kick the big dog out, who's going to protect the yard? Who's going to do it? Yeah. Such really. a great line. <laughs> Reigns then calls out Corbin for running away. Take a listen. As soon as Brock looked at you, what'd you do? You ran. You ran like a scared little old... Listen, Roman. They did it again. They did this a few months ago where Reigns was like, Brock Lesnar doesn't give us... And then Kurt goes, we know how you feel, Roman. They did yeah. it again. He was going to say a bad word. They want him to make, make him look like the cool guy yeah. who cusses. Hey, I totally would have said bitch, but, but Kurt didn't let me. Yeah. Wrestling fans aren't the type of fans that... Like, if a bad word is said, they're going to make their kids stop watching it. They're just right. not. So we all survived the Attitude Era, okay? So cool yeah. used and to come all out and be like, fans. you son of a bitch, you piece of shit. You know, <laughs> like, you know, he would say everything. You can lick my asshole, he bitch. Would, he would say everything <laughs> but the F word, he you would, know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's cable television. Uh, you don't even have to be a per certain hour anymore. It's just cable television. The good old you days. You can do whatever you want on cable television. You now. really can. And the week before, he said, I'm going to... He's gonna be. He said, "Bitch," last week. Yeah. He said, "I'm gonna." He said, uh, "Brock Lesnar is gonna go back to UFC as Roman Reigns' is bitch." So he said it last week. He tried to say it again this week, but this week you can't say it. Well, it's like when the New Age Outlaws came back and they're like, right. "You better call somebody." Yeah. And then proceeded to say, "Now go ahead and suck my dick." <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> can't say yes, but suck my cock. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just literally they still say to suck it. Yeah. yeah. They still say to suck it. Yeah. They look you all dead the in the eye. They look and say, suck it. Suck it. <laughs> and then Road Dog Road Dog blocked me on Twitter for telling him to suck it. Yeah. I mean what well right. <laughs> Hypocrite. It was something about Jesus. Right? Well, he he yeah. did a prayer. <laughs> so good. He he like tw he tweets a prayer every day. I mean, I don't know if he still does this because he blocked me. But back then, he tweets a prayer every, every day, and I and he was like, "Today I pray, blah 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 blah." And I was like, "Don't and don't forget to suck it." And then he blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> How much money did you make off of the catchphrase "suck it"? Right. Like, come on, man. Now you're acting like you're too good for it. That's right. hypocrisy. Yeah. Right? It's at its finest. Yeah. Yes. Someone call Chris Jericho. <laughs> yeah. Get him on the case. So Kurt tells Roman, I hope you kick Brock's ass. And Corbin tells Kurt, you know, the, the GM can't play favorites. Mm. And Corbin then starts talking a lot of shit and says, Stephanie is the one in charge. And you just make the matches, Kurt. So Kurt says, you're right. I do make the matches. Uh oh. And he tells Corbin that he's having a match against Roman Reigns right now. Play ya. And Corbin cheap shots Roman before the ref comes out. But that's our first match on Raw. Roman sets up for the spear, but Corbin rolls out of the ring and starts to walk up the ramp to quit. But then Finn Balor comes out. And this was okay. All right. They're fighting. He just comes out. Right. So Baron's now afraid of this guy that he's calling a little man. Yes. yes. He's, okay. he's, he's afraid of the smaller guy. So he's going to go back to the ring to fight the bigger guy, the much bigger guy. Yeah. yeah. So Roman, kind of. Roman hits him with a Superman punch outside the ring, throws Corbin back in, and hits the spear for the win. After the match, Roman high-fives a bunch of fans. One girl reaches her hand out, but then pulls it away and yells, just kidding, and she's my hero. <laughs> if you are listening to this show, we would like to interview you. Yeah. <laughs> what was going through your mind? How did you decide to do this? Yes. It was so amazing. Right. And Roman like kind of gave her like the, uh, the hang it, loose, like, yeah, it's cool. It's like, all good. And I honestly, I felt a little bad for him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even Eric doesn't have like the, uh, the balls to do that. Like if Roman was coming to shake your hand, you would shake it. And then try to like sell the sweat or keep it. Yeah. No. Forever. Maybe bottle it. You know what I'd probably do? Take go, the vest. Go in for the sh the the shake. Probably give him one of those <laughs> where you, you rub the middle oh. finger in on his palm. No, hey guy, <laughs> that would be amazing. And he'd be like, "Ew." Roman's like, "Ah," and you'd be like, "Did you like it?" Yeah. <laughs> it's my yard now. Yeah, I think I, I think if I was there, I would just I just wouldn't do anything. You know? Yeah. I'm not gonna try to make him look like an ass because I'm just not that person. But I will applaud anyone that does. Yeah. 
Like the guy a couple years ago that pretended like he was like blowing him. Was oh my so God. great. That was the best. That was so awesome. Was so yeah. good. What about the guy at the Rumble with the Roman fans heat tied box? Oh, yeah. That was great. Right. So good. Yeah. So Balor gets in the ring and he hits Corbin with the coup de gras. And then later they announce that they're fighting again at SummerSlam. <laughs> I don't know why. They, yeah. they fought at Extreme Rules. Then on Raw, they had a really good match. Yeah. And now they're going to fight again at SummerSlam. Oh, I know one? why. I know why. You want to know why? Why? Because it's four hours long. That's why. You mean... Oh, shit. We got to fill this shit. You mean like seven hours long? Well, I mean, yeah, b- before the pre-show. The pre-show is probably two hours because it's SummerSlam. Yeah. So, yeah. That's why. And then the pay-per-view is going to be... Probably start at six. That's, well, six central. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's a it, but yeah the pay per view five hour pay per view four hours yeah. including a two hour pre show six hours that's yeah so next up we go backstage where Seth Rollins asks Kurt or he tells Kurt that he's having trouble with Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre constantly teaming up on him so Kurt tells him to find a partner and you'll have a tag team match against them tonight yeah and then later in the night Tyler Breeze tries to be Seth's partner. But Roman walks up. He's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, I got your, I <laughs> yeah, got I your mean, back tonight. I mean, this, okay. You know, you can't do this. Not right now. No. Not with rumors of Dean coming back. You can't do this. And we all know it's going to be Roman. It's one of his best friends. And he, they, they've already had this match. Yeah. Like, everybody saw this coming, right? Right. That Roman would be the partner and he would not be able to do it. Right. Even before oh, Stephanie yeah. called. Yeah. 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 Like, everybody knew this was coming. Right. Either he was going to get beat up. Or Stephanie would call and say he can't do it, or Baron Corbin would say he can't do it. Right. You saw this coming a mile away. Then it left the opening for Dean. Nope. No, it. Nope. Well, again, nothing happened. But if you're saving Dean for SummerSlam, then then I'm for that. You yeah. know. If if I'd rather have it at SummerSlam. If they're saving him for what a, a save? Yeah. For Seth? Yeah. Just a save. Yeah. Why not? So he helps Seth win the IC title. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Then turns on him. No, no, yes. I don't want that bullshit. We've already seen them feud, and Ambrose turning on Seth makes no sense whatsoever. Or, yeah. Hey, I was just pretending to reunite with you. Or, it makes no sense. I just wanted to be the Raw Tag Team Champion. Makes no sense. Or it makes perfect sense. No, it <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> or, it's perfect. Yeah. If you want to turn Ambrose heel, that's fine, but just don't turn him heel against Seth. Then we have that feud, except the roles are reversed. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I get no. you. Re- I feel. get you. It's repeat slam. I mean, what are you thinking? Okay, so I guess you're for all that repeat bullshit. Oh, fuck no. Look, they had some of the best matches, but I don't want to see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn feud again. That's true. Even if you switch the roles and Kevin was the face, I don't want to see that anymore. Yeah. No. You know? No. That's It's over. We've seen it. It's over. Let go. To the death. So next up, we have Bobby Roode versus Mojo Rawley. And I think we were all expecting the complete opposite to happen here since he jobbed a Mojo at Madison Square Garden yeah. at the house show. Yeah. And Roode was even selling a back injury the entire match. Yeah, you're like, this. the excuse is there, everything. Yeah. And even he hits his finisher kind of like out of nowhere in a way. Right. It's like, oh, wait, whoa, 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 oh, we hit it. Yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah. I guess Mojo kicks out of no, it. No, <laughs> no. that I knew it was over once he hit the DDT. I know. I'm kidding. But, um, but if I knew, knew that was going to happen, you mean you were like on the ground, like praying, like, exactly. please don't kick out. Right. Yeah. I, was just, I just think it's weird. Why have him lose to Mojo at a house show and then to go over on TV? Although something tells me this feud isn't over. No. How many not matches with, have they had? Not with four hours Hold of summer. Hold on. How many on matches t- have on they TV had? One. One. Yeah. Over? It just started. It we'll, hasn't even begun yet. We'll, we'll see you in December. <laughs> we'll have another one in on SmackDown. Yeah, uh, SummerSlam. It'll be a, it, on SmackDown. On uh, Raw. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then, then we'll have a pre-show at SummerSlam. Yeah. for sure. This is yeah. the perfect pre-show right. match. Poor Rude. Yeah. And then, like another Raw uh, after SummerSlam. To, for and the then, deciding. like a pre-show at Evolution. That'll right. That'll be the one. <laughs> no. Well, no. The, there's a Hell in a Cell in September. Right. Which yeah. is in San Antonio. They'll be in the cell. Oh, okay. Don't get me when started, When? In September? Eric. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Let's go. yeah. I assume pretty soon we'll be having a moment of silence for Bobby Roode. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, 100%. I thought it was going to be this week, but... Yeah. Uh, I start watching, I'm starting to watch his TNA stuff on, on, internet, on the internet because he was so good in TNA. Yeah. yeah. 
because I've already seen all the even NXT as a stuff. tag team guy in Beer Money Inc. But when he became just Bobby Roode, yeah. yeah. And like, anyway, he had a nice little uh, feud with Hardy, and mm. Hogan was there. Yeah. yeah. So next Kurt up, we Angle have Elias hyping his new album, and there's a film crew in the ring for his second documentary, and he keeps telling them how to shoot him while he's shitting on the crowd and Bobby Lashley. Of course, Bobby Lashley comes out and warns Elias to stop talking about me. Elias pretends to leave, but then attacks Lashley. And Bobby eventually gets the upper hand with a spine buster, and then he hits his long and boring suplex. Yep. When is this going to be announced? Next week for the, another SummerSlam match that we no one need, wants to see? We need to get organized. Okay? We need to get organized for the walkout every time Bobby Lashley comes out from the back. Everybody just leaves their seats and runs up the aisles. Right. Yeah. We have well, to do that. So, Wrestle, you know, WrestleMania, it was the biggest, it was like the, the biggest sabotaged match of all time. Yeah. Roman Reigns and Lesnar at this year's Mania with the six beach balls. No one responding to anything that's happening in the match. Like, no, no one really was watching like, it. anything that could have been chanted was. Right. But if you really want... To, I know I've, we've said this many times. If you really want Vince to do something, you have to leave. You do. I know you're spending money on this, but, like, you have to ask yourself, why am I spending money on this in the first place? Right. But, like, you need to leave. They need to have an empty arena for Reigns and Lesnar at SummerSlam. Yeah. Then things will change. Yeah. Because you just, <laughs> you can't afford, they can't afford that to happen. No. That's no. how you'll get things to yeah. change. But it like, won't happen. I mean, I'm sure you have no qualms about walking out of a bad movie. Right. You know? No, I always get my money back too. <laughs> right. Well. I usually use the, I have a family emergency excuse, not this movie sucks. So the, the but... credits are rolling. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I always watch the credits. That's, that's the money. Give, give, give me back my money. The I credits know, were awful. I bought a horrible product. <laughs> there was no... Uh, there Jury was... Duty was not a real movie. There was no extra scene at the end of the, the credits. What yes. the fuck is that about? Yeah, come Sir, on. this is not a Marvel movie. <laughs> Sean and I went to Jury Duty uh -huh. at the Dollar Cinema when we were in college. There was 10 minutes left. They're about to wrap up everything. And we were like, is there any reason to spend 10 more minutes of our life on this movie? No. And then we left. Yeah. 10 minutes left. No. Yeah. Sorry. I don't remember uh, that movie. Polly Shore. Polly Shore. Oh. Garrett Top. Yeah. Oh, my One God. Them. One of them. Wow. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, I saw what was it, Biodome? But I was like eight at the time, and, mm. and mom took oh, me. That movie, oh. <laughs> that movie was terrible. And Tenacious D was like in it. They were like the band that was playing in the beginning of the movie. That was before they really? were even famous. Yeah, really? Yes, interesting. Oh, interesting. Right. Anyways, yeah, let's... it's like now they're locked in here for a year. No, just open the door. <laughs> yeah, just open the fucking door. Yeah, and just let them out, and then everything will continue. Yeah, right. dumb oh, idea. God. So, anyways, next up we have Razor. Yeah, of Authors of Pain versus Titus O'Neil. Yeah, of course, uh, the uh, face has to go over this time, right? No, the face won last week. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Apollo, Apollo had the roll-up. This week, oh, so Akim distracts Titus, and Razor hits Titus with a spine buster. That's why he won. To get the win. Spine buster. A spine buster. That's it. That's it. I mean, it's Titus. What that's else it? do you need? Well, it's because he doesn't have a finisher without his tag team partner. He can't do it without him. That's true. <laughs> because... Their finisher is, I'm just going to hold you, and the other guy is going to clothesline you. So without your partner, you can't just clothesline someone. The thing in NXT where they do the, the power bomb and they bump them into yeah. each other and slam them. Right. Was that their setup move or their yes. finisher? No, NXT? that was always their setup move. Setup move. Then they would do that one. Their yeah. finisher is that lame clothesline. Yeah. He should have just like held him. Sorry. Should have just held him, him like waiting for the other guy to come close. <laughs> I'm like... Oh shit! When's he coming in? <laughs> All right. Uh, what is that move called where he just he just jumps back when he's got him like that, like a side? I don't remember. Oh, like a like Bret Hart used to do it all the time. Side body drop or something? No, side it's not suplex? that. No, it's not. It's not a side suplex. Anyways, whatever. And anyway. yeah, it's when's the last time a spine buster has won a match? Yeah, Arn Anderson. I guess. Well, I don't even know if that was his finisher. No, that was his finisher. Yeah. Right? I'm pretty, pretty sure. I think so. Yeah. At some point, he finished somebody with it. Yes. Yeah. So next yeah. up, we have the return of the Kevin Owens show. Yeah. I wish you would wear the shirt again. Yeah. Because I still have that shirt. And, you know, you're on Raw, so you might as well wear it. You know, he just wears the KO. It's just a KO shirt. Yeah. 
That's you the one. Well, that's the one that's in the merch uh, tables, no, right? It's, now. I guess so, it's yeah. not because they there's never a KO shirt. He would know. I would know. What do you mean there was never a KO? There's shirt? probably never... always sold out, Eric. You yeah, should. I've watched you buy a KO shirt. You watched me buy one shirt, and that was at WrestleMania. Okay, so they weren't sold out. And a fan bought you the other Wrong. one. Right? No, Wrong. Didn't the fan buy Wrong. you a shirt. That was once? just a Royal Rumble shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Anyways, Kevin Owens has his guest Jinder Mahal with Sunil Singh. And the set is off to the right of the stage. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's something new. And, of course, later we find out why. Yeah, of course. Owens mentions that he and Mahal are two very different people. I'm sorry. Not very different people. I mean, they are. But they're two, of, they're two very few people who have defeated Braun Strowman in a match. And KO says, once I beat Strowman at SummerSlam, I will take the Money in the Bank contract and become the Universal Champion again. Cross your fingers. Guys. Eric. Cross your fingers. All right. Now let's cross dicks just to be sure. Wow. Owens then tells Mahal that he has another match. You turned to Joe. So you, you want Joe before me. Wait, is that our new sponsor? Did we... Uh... No. 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 Thought, okay. Similar. Uh, so Owens tells Mahal that he has another match against Braun Strowman right now. And Mahal's like, what? what? Fuck that. But Braun's music doesn't play. Instead, Braun's under the stage and flips it over and the three bad guys fall off. So he was just under there. I, yeah, or well, he just ran out right, right behind before him. that. Yeah. yeah, but it's another feats of strength with Braun the Monster Strowman. Remember when Mark Henry just only did that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it got old quick too. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially when it's it's spots like these that first of all aren't that impressive, and the no. bumps not even that great. No, like the porter potty one that was lame. Well, yeah. he lifts it, and they go, "Whoa!" Yeah, it moves again. Whoa, what was, what was that? And, Dude, get off the stage. And it kept, but Kevin was funny. He was like, oh, it's all right. It's fine. Like, what, what is there? Just a mild earthquake? Yeah, yeah. just in your table. <laughs> so we have Jinder Mahal versus Braun Strowman. Owens tries to run away with the briefcase again, but Strowman catches him. Mahal then attacks Braun from behind, but Strowman accidentally hits Mahal with the briefcase, so he gets DQ'd. And then Braun tries to hit Mahal with the briefcase again after the match, but Sunil grabs it from him. Mahal retreats to through the crowd, and Sunil gets a boot to the chest. Hmm. So Ron's on a hell of a losing streak right now. Yeah, that's how you know he's winning at SummerSlam. Right. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. They're showing you every possible way that he could lose. Yeah. Right? He he got counted out. He got DQ'd. He, elimin- he threw Kevin out of the cage. So who does he pin to win it? Brock? The Universal Championship? Does it really matter? Well, yeah, because I want. I, does Roman actually beat Brock? What if? What if I, don't know. I would beat? hope it would be he. He beats Lesnar. Yeah. If you're gonna leave Lesnar, you know, if you're gonna leave, you need to lose. You need to put someone over. Yeah. Th- Brock doesn't care about losing. He doesn't. He just wants to get paid. Yeah. Vince doesn't have to protect Brock if he's gonna be gone for a while because he can always come back later in a couple years. Yeah. What does he do? He does a bunch of suplexes and an F five, and he's in amazing shape. So he can still come back a couple years later and do a few matches. If Braun's gonna cash it in on Brock, what needs to happen is Roman needs to lose to Brock again, and then Roman snaps and just beats the shit out of Brock. He doesn't even need to do that. Roman just needs to barely win and be like out of breath, and then Braun comes out. You yeah. don't need Roman to help him. He's helped him enough by taking Brock to the limit. No. So, I think it'd be even cooler if Braun, like, cashes in before the match. Yeah. Just because he's a face, and he's like, I'll just fucking beat you right now. Oh, that would be cool. I don't even need you to like, be... Like, Brock's on his way to the ring? Yeah. Yeah. Or just, you know, he comes out right before the match starts. And Maybe he in. does the thing where, like, they're both, after, like, 20 minutes of grueling, grueling wrestling. Oh, he does the Seth Rollins thing? Yeah. We yeah. haven't seen that in a couple of years, and that could be something new. Right. He just comes out laughing. And by something new, something we've already seen. Correct. Yeah, I think it'd be cool if, if <laughs> he for I think it'd be cool if he came out at the beginning. Yeah. Uh so next up we go backstage and Corbin hands Kurt his phone because Stephanie's on the line again. And take a listen to what Kurt says at the very end of this clip. I understand what you're saying, but I don't think Yes. Take care. <laughs> I 
didn't catch that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> How did that go over the air? I guess they didn't catch it either. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, fuck. It's like the South Park. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Damn. Fuck. Damn. He's in character. Because <laughs> to be like, fuck. Like, you have to be, like, really into your character. Right. Awesome. Well done, Kurt. <laughs> yeah. So you great. heard this to her? Yeah. Uh, someone, uh, I think Nathan Weller pointed it out to me on Twitter. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's <laughs> Kurt with the F bomb. All right. Roman can't say bitch, but, but Kurt, Kurt can, can say. You could whisper it. You're allowed to whisper just it. Mutter it under your breath ever yeah. so lightly. Right. You know what, Brock? I know who you are. You're a little bitch and a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. You can say it. Yep. Yeah. So next up, we have Dolphin. Loophole. We have Dolphin Drew versus Seth and Roman. However, before the match, Corbin tells Reigns that Stephanie is forbidding him from being Seth's partner tonight. And if he disobeys, then he won't get his title match against Lesnar at SummerSlam. I think at this point, we, will all, we were all hoping that Roman would not obey right, yeah. to lose his title match against exactly. Lesnar. That's your boy. Uh -huh. Like, you, Why not stand up for your boy? Right. Fuck so, the title. You're not going to win it anyway. Roman then tells Corbin, like, uh, hey, uh, he's... he's Corbin's still selling his ribs from the spear. And Roman's like, hey, you ribs okay? And then he punches Corbin in the ribs and then walks away. He's such an asshole. He really is. Uh, so instead, we have a handicap match. Seth gives his best effort, but the numbers game's too much. Dolph hits Seth with a super kick to get the win, even though Dolph wasn't the legal man. And they, the commentators, it's almost as if that was planned because the announce team was all over that. They're like, well, he wasn't the legal man. And Corbin's like, he was. That was total bullshit. So I, I don't know what the pro like. There's nothing, there's nothing embarrassing about losing a two on one handicap match no. No. to Dolph Ziggler, the Intercontinental Champion, and Drew Buff as Hell McIntyre. No, that's his official nickname. Yeah, he's probably getting a shirt. I hope so. so. Buff as Hell. <laughs> so next up, we have the B Team versus the Revival, and they're super duper baby faces now. It's yeah. not even a discussion no. anymore. Nope. Yeah. They have over. They have stupid new entrance music. I love it. It's like B team, B team, go, go, go. It's, it's so like great. This high school thing. It's so great. It's like a cheerleader meets like a kid's Pokemon game. <laughs> it's so perfect for their personality. All right. Although Curtis Axel was like not into it, but was like go, go, and Curtis was like go, go, go. It looked yeah, like where, where's our old music? <laughs> their old music was good. I don't honestly. Their old music's not memorable. No. I don't remember what it was. Sing it, Eric. Do it, Eric. No, no. Exactly. <laughs> These wounded hearts or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, it had lyrics? It did. Oh. So during the match, Bo and Scott Dawson are reaching to tag in their partners, but then dip. And when the lights come on, we see that Matt and Bray have replaced Dash uh, Wilder and Curtis Axel and are reaching in for a tag. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Matt and Bray then enter the ring. Matt hits Dawson with a twist of fate, and Bray hits Brother Bo with a sister Abigail. And then later in the night, they announce that the B team will defend the tag titles in a triple threat match against both teams next week on Raw. Oh. A week before SummerSlam. Oh, so something will happen, and the match will get redone at SummerSlam. You think? Uh, Absolutely. No. No. Yes. No. Yep. All right. Or, or Revival wins, and then they just have a, a rematch at SummerSlam. Or the B-team, so they go over again? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. So next up, Renee Young sits down with Paul Heyman backstage. And Heyman, as good as he was acting last week, this week he's, he's got tears rolling down his face. He's, he looks different. He's the new Michael Jordan meme. Yeah. yeah. He looks so different. His Dude, eyes are red. Like the he lighting. looks so sad. He says, Brock disconnected his phone and he won't respond to me. Paul says this interview is just going to piss off Brock even more. And Renee asks him, do you consider Brock Lesnar your friend? Oh, God. And with more tears running down his face, he's like, yes, this isn't how I, envis I envisioned this ending. Yeah. So Renee asks Eamon, are you interested in anyone else in WWE as a potential client? And he says he can't imagine being with anyone else. Jesus, what did they break up? Yeah. Renee's final question Basically. is, do you think... 
Brock will, or I'm sorry, who do you think will win at SummerSlam? And Heyman says Roman Reigns doesn't stand a chance. So last week, I was convinced that Heyman was turning on Brock. Yeah. Now they've gone, they're pushing this so far. Now I think WWE just wants us to think that Paul will turn on Brock, but it's all a ploy. Like, like it's Brock and Paul just doing this. And, 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 you know, like WWE just wants us again to think that Roman's going over so that we're shocked again. Like Paul's going to be like, it was all a ploy. It was all like Paul runs out. Like maybe Paul doesn't come out with Lesnar at SummerSlam because it seems like that's, that's where it's headed anyway. Right. And then at the, like towards the end, uh, Heyman runs out with a chair. The ref's knocked out. You think he's going to hit Brock, but he just fucking hits Roman. <laughs> Yeah, they're uh, pushing it so hard. I right. just that's again, the only logical see, and that's like with the, the Nakamura Styles thing. I'm like, you fooled me too many times. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying this anymore. Yeah, it's like they're pushing the fact that we want you to hate Brock Lesnar so much. Yeah. we're doing everything that we can to make you despise him. Yeah, that you will. You will jizz mountains of cum when Roman wins. Like that's how much they want. This win for Roman, but I feel like that's exactly where it's going, where it's going to be like, oh, fooled you again, idiots. Right, but even if Roman wins, there wouldn't be a mountain of cum. There would not. No. 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 (laughs) Not a mountain. Not a, maybe a a pint glass. No. A a pint of comb. (laughs) Maybe some squirt. A shot. A shot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Mom. Like the, like the soda? God, I hope she's not listening at this point. Like the soda? Yes, the soda. Soda. Um, oh, what was there was a soda when I was in middle school. It was all green. Splurge. Surge. Oh, surge. That's right. Splurge. <laughs> and then like a big rumor came out. Splurge, Andrew. <laughs> splurge. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, there was this drink. It was so good in middle school. It's called Splurge. Yeah, it no, was no, no, like no, white no. and creamy and no. milky. I and my guess. friend gave it to me after the bathroom. It was kind of weird, but like I drank it. It was delicious. <laughs> Butter's creamy goo. <laughs> no, um, first of all, I did not say it was good. I didn't drink it. But there was a rumor out there that oh. it made your testicles smaller. Yes, because the it, yellow six. And then it uh, it went away. So I guess it did make everyone's balls smaller. Yeah, they just didn't want to admit it. It made mine bigger. I don't know. It did the opposite to me. <laughs> they said Mountain Dew did the same thing. So yeah, it was probably know. just a rumor. But Surge did not last. Yeah. So Apparently it's back at Burger it's back. King. At Burger King. Yeah. Burger King. No, that'll do it. That'll yeah. help Burger. Aaron, that'll put Aaron Garcia up. posted about it, so he may have the inside. So he was there. excited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's a big Mountain Dew. Yeah. Hey, it, is is it an out open now in Houston yet? I heard it was open. I, I have no idea. In and out Burger. Speaking of Burger, it won't places. last because Water Burger is ten times better. It is. It'll last because it's a yeah, gimmick. It's different, dude. Nathan's closed down here. It's in a food court. Yeah. Mm. But it's just funny how like people don't like hot like, dogs. Down Nathan's here. in New York is like the greatest. It's the greatest thing. It's amazing. It's but, the like, greatest thing ever. When, when you put that in a in like you put that in Houston where no one knows what Nathan's is, no one even bothers to try it. Right? Yeah. Oh, a hot dog place. Oh, James Coney Island sucks. Why would this place be any good? Yeah. And there are people in Houston that actually think James Coney Island is good hot dog. It's such. It a is garbage. dog shit. It literally is dog. <laughs> it's food. hot dog shit. It is dog hot food. dog shit. <laughs> You have to eat like twelve of them just to get full. Yeah. You have not had a hot dog right. if all you know is James Coney Island. And if you go to James Coney Island, you go, I need more. More what? More anything you have back there. Just put it on this thing so I can taste it. Yeah. yeah. Cheese, what about onions, it? ketchup. I mustard. was a kid, a little kid. Hot dogs were my favorite food. I didn't even like it. It's garbage. Yeah. It's garbage food. It sucks. So you know, like up in Rhode Island, like with we have Andrew, uh, Joe, and Eric. Like yeah, the exactly. big thing is like hot wieners. Okay. So it's hot dog. And then with a meat sauce and celery salt and onions, mm-hmm. it's really good. Thanks. What is it called again? Hot wieners. All right. So next up, we have. Want to do hot dog party uh, for SummerSlam at my house? Nathan's. <laughs> Nathan's hot dog party. Okay. <laughs> All right. Look for me on TV. Uh, right. Next up, we have Sasha and Bailey versus Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan again. Again. Let's do this again. Again. In, in the end, Bailey is about to jump off the apron onto Liv, but Ruby Riot makes her triumphant return. 
not so much. But she shows up and she pulls Liv out of harm's way. Yeah. This distracts Sasha and Sarah rolls her up for the win. And the 50-50 club strikes again. Ha ha. So Ruby's back. And this time... I'm she's sure. in a hoodie. Yeah, she, yeah. Covering all those weird tattoos. Good. <laughs> Like, she's only been gone, like, three weeks. I don't think, like, she had to, like, put a disguise on. No, it's been like, more than three weeks. <laughs> more than three weeks. A month. Four weeks, maybe. Maybe two months. Two months, I would say. All right. Well, fine. <laughs> All right. So, Andrew, obviously, two months warrants a hoodie disguise. Yeah. I guess so. Clearly. Like, two months, clearly. And it was like, no one even cares. Like, Nobody when she cares. revealed herself, it was like, yeah. If she's healthy, why is she not at the ringside with those girls? Like, I don't, I don't know. All right, so next up we have Ronda Rousey versus Alicia Fox for the main event. And Alexa Bliss comes out with Alicia Fox yeah. to Alexa Bliss's music. Yes. <laughs> Just like and, when she came out with Mickey James. Yes. Yeah. And JoJo did not even announce Alicia Fox. Are you sure? She announced the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. <laughs> did not even announce Alicia Fox. Yeah. That makes sense, though. Yeah, it's true. That makes sense. So Charlie Caruso interviews Fox and Bliss before the match. And let's not forget that Alicia had a confrontation with Ronda's husband yes. during WrestleMania weekend. Oh, yeah. Allegedly. So that, uh, well, no, it was, no, it was on video. It. it was uh, apparently on video. Yes. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Allegedly on video. Allegedly. <laughs> that I watched. Right. So Ronda comes out with Natalia by her side. And during the match, Alexa trips Ronda when the ref's distracted so Alicia can get some shots in. It doesn't last long, though, as Ronda hits her with a punch combo, a few hip tosses, and then she throws Alicia into the barricade as payback for last week. There was also a really cool shot where Alicia was kicking Ronda in the corner, and the ref was, you know, did the count, get out of there. And then Ronda, like, they, they zoomed in on Ronda, and she slowly, like, lifted her head up, like, oh, you're fucked now. Yeah. So that was nice. Ronda then locks in the yarn bar, and Alicia immediately taps. Charlie then interviews Ronda in the ring after the match, but Alexa tries to attack her from behind. Ronda flips Alexa over, and the goddess retreats. Rousey then grabs the mic and tells Alexa, it doesn't matter how hard you hold on to that title, because at SummerSlam, it's mine. Mm. And then she slams the mic on the ground. Yeah, into Alicia Fox's skull. Yeah. Ooh. Why not? Why yeah. Not? Next up, we have Randy Orton kicking off SmackDown. Uh huh. And I promise you, for the first couple minutes, I thought I, I, I pressed play on last week's episode of SmackDown. Yeah. Because Randy Orton, although it was two weeks ago, but Randy Orton cuts another promo bitching that the fans don't respect him. It was almost the exact same promo from two weeks ago. It's the exact same promo he gives every time he turns heel. But but he still is is a, such a better heel than he is. Oh, face. for sure. I mean, Definitely. I still listen to the whole thing. That but he said like, the same thing. Yeah. And and then that's it. No one came out. Right. Hardy wasn't on the show. I guess he's still recovering from the waterboarding. Uh, yeah. But that was it. He just walked to the back. Very yeah. weird way to start the show. I don't know. With with no one else coming out and you're yeah. just, all right, I'm, I'm leaving. Right. So next up, we have Charlotte and Becky versus the Iconics. Iconics. Welcome back, uh, Peyton and Billy. We haven't seen them in a Ladies. while. Yeah. With Charlotte, uh, I'm sorry, Carmella on commentary. And backstage before the match, Charlotte tells Becky, look, I wasn't trying to get into the title match at SummerSlam, but you know how competitive I am. And Becky tells her, it's fine. My hill just got a lot harder to climb. That's all. So Charlotte says, so we're good for the tag match? And Becky replies, of course. We're not Sasha and Bailey. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. Dun, dun. Oh, wait, they're all going to be tagging together at Survivor Series. Yeah. So Charlotte makes, makes Peyton tap out to the figure eights. And then backstage after the match, uh, Charlotte and Becky are celebrating. But then Becky reminds her that they will be enemies at SummerSlam. And then they do tea time, but then stare at each other very intensely. <laughs> They're like, tea time? <sighs> it was, yeah, yeah, it was very weird. Get aggro and shit. So next up, Renee interviews the New Day backstage. This is until Kofi takes off his shirt to reveal a, bu a blue suit. He also puts, puts on a blonde wig and he interviews the New Day using white voice. Pretty much. He yeah. was like, well, I'm here. I'm, a, I'm, I'm Kramer Cranston. <laughs> what are you going to do, New Day? I was actually kind of impressed with it. Like, I thought it sure, was, it was fine. Yeah. 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 
Uh, it was an okay segment. Yeah. Uh, next up, we go earlier today where we see The Miz on the set of his reality show, and he accepts Daniel Bryan's challenge at SummerSlam. You know, it's funny because we were watching, you know, a couple minutes of Miz and Mrs. while Andrew was finishing up his notes. Yes. And it sucks, by he the way. Keeps, they keep doing these things from the set of Miz and Mrs. Most of this show takes place at a WWE arena. Yeah. So when he's on set, he's in the arena mm-hmm. filming. It's like they tricked us to watching, or not us, but other people to watching like a, a third hour of SmackDown. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, here's footage of The Miz on SmackDown a few months ago. It's like, right. right yeah. yeah, right. Whatever. So next up, AJ Styles responds to Samoa Joe's comments from last week. AJ says he, re- he wrestles to support his family and his wife is awesome because she's a single parent for most of the year since he's not home a lot. He actually had to defend this. Yeah. Like, why? I didn't think it was necessary that he actually had to defend what Samoa Joe said last week. No, I think didn't. we all figured that, that he was being absurd with his comments and right. dramatic. He's like, no, that's bullshit. Like, we don't hate I love AJ my fa- Styles now. I love my family. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> So AJ also mentions that he and Joe were once roommates and really good friends, but he threw all that away when he took shots at his family. Our Joe? Yeah, Yeah. our our Joe. buddies. That was great. Styles then says, Joe will not walk out of SmackDown the WWE champion, and he'll be lucky to even walk out at all. Sorry, Joe. Mm -hmm. This was one of AJ's stronger promos than usual, because usually he just says, I'm going to win. Because this is the house that AJ Styles built. Yeehaw. Yeah, he's yeah. still over as crazy, so... Of course. Next over up, we have crazy. Lana and Zelina Vega, the rematch. Uh-huh. Before the match, Rusev tells Lana backstage that he will be in her corner this week, and she's like, oh, thank you. Mm. Aiden English then walks up and apologizes to both of them for his recent mistakes, and they forgive him. However, Rusev tells Aiden to stay in the back for this match. Right. And so after Zelina's victory last week... the Kayla interviewed her on WWE.com, and she said, I took care of that ravishing, sometimes has a Russian accent, Lana. Ha-ha. That was great. I'm kind of waiting for, like, Rusev's accent to kind of just start <laughs> dropping out. Yeah, but he actually has one. I know. <laughs> Maybe he should, like, do it on purpose. Like, he should have an accent, like an American accent. I'm the Canadian brute. Yeah. So almost... Or him trying to have an American accent. Right. Cowboy. Yeah. So during the match... Cowboy baseball. Taco baseball. (laughs) So Almas gets on the apron to distract Lana. So Rusev takes him out. Zelina then kicks Rusev in the back of the head and Almas drives Ruru into the ring post. Lana then kicks Zelina and climbs to the top rope. However, as Almas gets up, Aiden runs out and tackles him, but he tackles him into Lana and she slowly falls off the top rope. Because she's an idiot. (laughs) Zelina then hits Lana with the double knees in the corner and gets the win again. Yeah. And I think she might have hit Lana in the face with the double knees because Lana, like, grabbed her face and then didn't move. She was, like, too busy, like, holding her face. And then Zelina had to, like, really pull her away from the ropes to pin her. So, I don't know. Next up, though, we have Renee Young interviewing Nakamura backstage. Mm. However, R-Truth walks up with Ty Dillinger and makes a challenge. I want to match with you at SummerSlam for that. Mm-hmm. How am I going to do that? Same way everyone else does. I'm going to pin Carmella. That was really funny. That was great. Again, yeah. it's almost one of those too real type of situations. Right. Right. I I thought he was going to be like the way everyone else does, just say they want a title match. Just yeah. show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just show yeah. up. But that was really good. Hit the music. Nakamura then says something in Japanese, and Arth Truth pretends like he knows what he said and gets very offended. And then Truth tells Renee, the match with Carmella is off. I want Nakamura tonight. <laughs> good so, choice. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, next up, Byron Saxon interviews The Miz. Now, quick question on that. So is, like, Ty Dillinger his handler now? He is. Because yes. he, he's not, like, a normal functioning adult anymore? Nope. No. No. <laughs> he's Little Jimmy. Yeah. Turns out it was Ty Dillinger. Little Jimmy! I think that's a conspiracy. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> he was Ty Dillinger. Little Jimmy was Ty Dillinger the whole time. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Byron Saxon interviews The Miz. 
via Titantron because Miz is still on the set. And Miz takes shots at Daniel Bryan while also promoting his show. Daniel then shows up at the set <clears throat> backstage of SmackDown yeah. and attacks the Miz. Security gets involved to pull Daniel off, and Miz breaks a glass vase over Daniel's head. Mm. And he runs away. Sugar glass. Yep. Yes. Next up, we have our truth versus Nakamura. Truth hits all of his moves except the last one, and Nakamura hits the Kinshasa for the win. Yeah. Next up, we have the Bludgeon Brothers killing three jobbers. Okay. What long, in-depth notes do you have for this match? I just wrote, meh. And that, that's accurate. That's it. Right. That's all you need. And for the main event, 30 minutes left on SmackDown, we have The Bar versus The New Day in a yes. whoever wins gets to lose of the Bludgeon Brothers at SummerSlam. Probably the pre-show, too. Yeah. yeah. But, however, The New Day and The Bar had a really good match. And, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to say it was mostly The Bar in this one. Right. Yeah, no, they, yeah, even Sheamus was good. And he yeah, really Sheamus sucks. was good. Uh, Cesaro was really good, even though he uh, he completely missed. Well, I think that was on Sheamus actually. Yeah, Sheamus falls. Yeah. Uh, he he yeah. was supposed to wait for Cesaro to you know hit him and then yeah. Drop so him. Cesar- you know, they set up their double team finisher where it's just Cesaro pushing Sheamus into his finisher, right? And uh, Sheamus go Sheamus goes first, and so basically Cesaro jumps off the rope and doesn't <laughs> he doesn't touch he doesn't uh, touch him Kofi or whoever it was at all. It yeah, was pretty funny. In the end, though, Kofi and Biggie hit Cesaro with their finisher to get the win. I was shocked. I guess they don't want to do a heel versus heel tag team match. I guess that's the reason. But we've already seen the New Day versus the Bludgeon Brothers. We have. We have. I really thought the bar would go over, too, for sure. So yeah. I guess this kind of is, came back. They were kind this of has to be a pre-show match because we've already seen it. Right. Especially if this was the title is Hold on. It. We saw this match at WrestleMania. Yeah, we did. I th- were the Usos in there, too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But still. But so as the new day celebrates, they cut to Harper and Rowan watching from the crowd. Yeah, <laughs> that was such a weird shot. It was because most of the crowd wasn't even paying attention. They to them. weren't even aware or yeah. cared that they like, were there. Oh, look, those guys are dressed up as those those one guys. Oh, look, they're plastic mallets. They're <laughs> yeah, very dumb. Right. Guys, let's talk about sex for a minute. Do you remember the good old days when you were always ready to go? And by ready to go, I mean when you could stay up all night. Well, now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in the bedroom thanks to BlueChew.com. BlueChew.com brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You could take them anytime, day or night, And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill. So you can be ready whenever she's ready. No more hiding in the bathroom waiting for the pills to kick in. Hold on, honey. I just need a few more minutes. Come on. What's taking so long? Blue Chew is prescribed online and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package. So no more in-person doctor visits. No more waiting at the pharmacy. And best of all, no more awkward conversations. And right now... We've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our promo code WWW. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. Look, if you're having performance problems and the solution costs $5, it's a no-brainer. Again, that's B-L-U-E Chew.com, promo code WWW to try it for free, and you can thank me later. Who is your worst dressed? Alicia Fox. That was mine as well. She still was wearing the captain's jacket. You're not a... From Survivor Series. You're not a long time ago, Alicia. In November. A long time ago. You're not a captain of anything. Right. You don't even get entrance music for your match. No. You have other people's entrance music. Yeah. Joe? Sweep it. All right. Best dressed? Uh, Zelina Vega. Two weeks in a row now. Yeah. Yeah, she's very good. I had Alexa Bliss in blue. I love Alexa in blue. It's right. very nice. I had the Iconics. Which one in particular? Do I have to pick one? No, no you don't. You don't. Okay. For the website? Can no, it. I'll put both. Okay. Uh, worst acting? Uh, mine was a tie between Becky and Charlotte, just because <laughs> they right. did their thing together. Yeah. Yeah. Joe? Tea time? 
<laughs> no, I will yeah. not. Yeah. I yeah. hate the tea time thing. Yeah. Because I didn't know what it was. They were smoking joints at first. Oh, the, yeah. The first time we totally thought they were smoking joints. Like, oh, yeah. look. I'm going to do this. <laughs> what was we, it? Zach Alphanekis did that. He was like, you ever, uh, you know, uh, put on chapstick daintily? Oh. <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> of um, uh, the Donald Trump roast where Seth MacFarlane was like, hey, Snoop Dogg, before the, before the show, did you... Uh, you know, blow Jeff Ross. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, too. All right, who's your worst acting, Joe? Um, uh, yeah, I'll go with uh, Becky and Charlotte. Okay. I'll yeah. go with Constable Corbin. No. Oh, Best good. acting? Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. He, I mean, he really cried. Yeah. Sweet yeah. No, he had legit tears. Sweet bit. That was awesome. Worst comment? Worst comment. Uh... Well, I had Bobby Lashley. The next time my name comes out of your mouth... What I do to you, it won't be a joke. Ugh. Yes, it will. Just say, I'll kill you. That's it. Just, hey, you know what? I'm going to murder you. No. I, had, I had Roman Reigns. If you kick out the big dog, who's going to protect the yard? Like like Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle can't protect yeah. himself? I, guess I, so. I had Becky. We're, we're not Sasha and Bailey. <laughs> I thought that was all right, but okay. Uh, no. Best comments? The same, gonna... the same way everyone else does. Yeah. Ben Carmella. Yeah, that was so great. Sweep it. Yeah. Sweep it. Let's sweep it. Uh, worst match. Lana versus Vega. Oh, come on. Oh, At least come Vega on. can do shit. Yeah, but we I just had, saw it last week. I had Titus O'Neil. I had the Bludgeon Brothers versus the Jobbers. My okay. slow-mo match was Titus and Razor. Mm. Mine was Reigns and Corbin. Okay. Joe? Bludgeon Brothers is my worst. <laughs> Blood, <laughs> Blood, Best Blood. match? Uh, New Day versus the Bar. Yeah, it was good. Yes. Yeah. Sweep it. Sweep yeah. it. A lot of sweeps. Yeah. A lot of sweeping tonight. Right. Worst move. Uh, mine was uh, Charlotte's Moonsault, and I, I guess I blame this more on the Iconics. 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 Because they were basically, like, holding hands, and Charlotte did a Moonsault into, like, the middle of their arm <laughs> and knocked them both down. Like, right. Okay. Joe? I had the Spine Buster for the win. Razar. Razar. You know what? Let's go with that. Razar. I'm going to go with that as well. Yeah. yeah. Best move? Uh, I had the DDT that Kofi did to Sheamus off that the barrier. That was awesome. He yeah. jumped off the barricade, caught Sheamus, and then did like a tornado DDT. Yeah. And even Sheamus sold it very well. Yeah. Very impressed with Sheamus. He must be retiring soon. That must right. be. That rumor must be he's true. Giving a, he's giving it his all. He's yeah. wrestling well again. That was my best move. Yeah. Yeah. Sweep it. Nice. Worst moment? Ooh, so mine, much to choose. Mine was having to watch Elias and Lashley. Yes, again. Yeah, again. Anything with Lashley. Again. Anything with Lashley is going to be is, is is a shoe in. Yeah, I'm so sick of this guy. Yep, and he, he's only been here a few months. Correct. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Sweep it again. Sweep it again. Sweep it again. This might be a record for sweeps. It might be. Uh, best moment. The depth. Matt yeah. and Bray depping and then being tag partners. Yeah, that's what I had. I had the Kevin Owens show. Yeah. All right. just I also could have had Rude winning because I was so sure yeah. he was going to lose. It was like a nice surprise. It oh, was. it's not a yeah. surprise moment of the week. He's not maybe. buried yeah. yet. Yeah. Uh, all right, so that's all for awards. So now on to breaking news. So Cody Rhodes announced that All In will be available to watch on Fight TV for $39.99. Also, the first hour of the show will be available on WGN America, which is like their pre-show, but it's called Zero Hour, which yeah. is a much better name than pre-show. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's cool. Also, Glenn Jacobs, a.k.a. Kane, is now the mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. They even played his entrance music when he walked to the stage for his victory speech. Wow. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, this one's hilarious. Oh, I had this. Big one. Cass has booked his first indie match since being let go from WWE. Uh -huh. And since WWE owns the name Big Cass, he can't use it. So instead, he's going by Big Cass. Cass. With two Z's. With two Z's. What an idiot. The promotion is big time. <laughs> what an idiot. The promotion is big time wrestling, and it takes place September 21st in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So go ahead and see that. If Why not go by, like... If you were interested big in Colin that. Cassidy or Big Cassidy or something. Not Big Cass. Even the um, kayfabe uh, 
comment or what's the uh it's like the onion for kayfabe news kayfabe, kayfabe news, news. Yeah, yeah they were like we promised we didn't make this one up this one's right. real yeah it was really there cool. was something that wwe posted and they like retweeted they're like leave the satire to us okay oh yeah yeah they're good uh any other news guys uh you, you took mine so okay then let's move on to rumors to rumors Rumors! Zack Ryder to win the Royal Rumble? Maybe! Shawn Michaels coming back to join the Bullet Club? Please, Please God. God! John Cena will finally turn heel? No, no chance. chance! Undertaker will wrestle for 20 more years? Confirmed! This is kind of news and rumors, but Hulk Hogan was at the National Sports Collectors Convention in Cleveland last Saturday where he told fans there that a big announcement will be made on October 27th at HulkHogan.com. And if you go there, there's a countdown right now. He also tweeted, October 27th, biggest day ever. History will be made again in the world of wrestling. Too sweet. Hollywood Hogan for life. Scott Hall also tweeted, hey, yo, Kevin Nash, you free October 27th? Nash replied, just happened to be. And then a fan asked if they were getting the band back together. And Hall replied, yep. Now, there are a few rumors as to what this might be. The announcement, October 27th, is the day before WWE's Evolution pay-per-view. And some people think maybe, look, I don't think they're going to come out for that. I think if Hogan's gonna... announcing an all-man's pay-per-view. Right, yeah. Uh, so I don't really think it's that. They're also saying it could be some sort of promotional video for Fox announcing that SmackDown's coming to, to Fox. Mm. Others are also saying maybe they're hosting their own indie show, like All In. Mm. Like an NWO type All In or something. I don't know. I think it's most likely the Fox thing, although that's kind of lame. That's not a very... that's You're hyping the crap out of this, so I hope it's none of these. I don't think it's any of those. Yeah. I yeah, I hope not. Yeah. That, those, these are all kind of crappy. Garbage. Right. They said they were, they were also seen like filming something, the three of them at Hogan's shop in Florida, so oh. I don't know. We'll see. He's probably getting a new reality show or something. <laughs> With them? They're all living in a house together? Yep. Oh, Wa God. Wash up house. Oh, been there, done that. Hall's doing meth again. <laughs> Come on, brother. You gotta cut it out, brother. Uh, also, Matt Hardy has been hinting at retiring. <laughs> Hogan. Yeah. Don't act like a nigga poop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyways. Who Matt turned Hardy, all these cameras on? Yeah. Matt Hardy has been hindering in reti at retiring soon. He recently tweeted that his lower back and pelvis have started fusing together. Mm. That's not good. No. Uh, his wife also tweeted, Todo tiene su final, which means everything has its end. And he's been tweeting and posting a bunch like, oh, my favorite matches, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it was just, what a great ride. So... He's either working uh, everyone, which he's done before on Twitter, right? Or maybe he's retiring soon, but we don't know, and that's why it's a rumor. Yeah, he's old guy. He is. Taking a lot of he's posting moves. like a lot of like collages of pictures with fans. Yeah, it's weird. been a great ride and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Any other rumors? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have. Yeah, any. Do we save the NXT stuff for NXT? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Then uh, trivia. Yeah. Trivia. Trivia. What? Let me get to it. Let's do it. Can we start right it now? Now. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Now. All right. Like right my now. question's very simple. All right. Who has the most pay-per-view victories of all time? John Cena. Mm -hmm. No. Randy Orton. Mm -hmm. No. Triple oh, H. Sorry, music. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, We're just going is. name after name after this. Guys, well, this what are person. We this person yeah. has a hundred pay-per-view victories. The next closest is 50-something. Stone Cold? No. Come on, guys. The Rock? You're not thinking of, like, longevity. Well, Hogan wasn't there. Right. Stone Cold doesn't really have the longevity. Well, that's Triple H would be a good one because he's been there for Triple a Triple H? But he never wins. Undertaker. <laughs> the Undertaker. Oh, that's <laughs> Undertaker. The greatest Royal Rumble was number 100. Wow. In his career. Wow. Okay. Yep. Well, Eric, you win this round after your fourth guess. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm truly honored. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's that time for Jesse the Mind's top 10 conspiracies of the week. 
All right. Oh, well, let me. Let Can me we get him in? Let me see if he's around. Uh, All right. Does someone have a phone to hand me? Sure. Yeah. yeah here yeah. you go. All right. I'm patching you in now. Beep. Heel turns. Non-title matchups. The Survivor Series. McMahon. Twin referees. Long lost bastards. Fruit roll-ups. Horn swoggle. You think wrestling's fake? Think again. Jesse, you there? What, what is this? Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, I hear you guys are going to start watching my movies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that because, you know, I could use 50 cents every three years. <laughs> mm. That's, yeah. All right. Well, McMahon. Sure. McMahon. I'm pretty sure we're just going to illegally watch it, so you're probably not going to get anything. Yeah. That's the real conspiracy. <laughs> I actually get twice as much. <laughs> Vince hey. McMahon has to pay me royalties. Hey, who's Jesse the Mind here? I'm Jesse the Body. You know, McMahon, Stephanie was never actually going to marry Andrew Martin like the WWF fan base thought. It was just a test run for her wedding with Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's not really a conspiracy. I just thought I'd bring a joke to the table. <laughs> I guess so. You know, McMahon, during the Attitude Era, Rick Rude and Jacqueline hooked up. Ooh. It was never brought out in public because Jacqueline got pregnant and had a baby boy. Mm -hmm. That baby boy, are you ready? Yeah. Velveteen Dream. Wow. That makes sense. I like it. Great conspiracy. I don't know. Yeah. Jacqueline's kind of ugly, though. Yeah. 9-11 was an inside job, but it wasn't George W. Bush pulling the strings. Who's pulling the strings? It was Vince McMahon himself. And you know when it last stitch effort to get television ratings for Thursday? Oh no. Oh boy. <sighs> oh no. Oh boy. We might have to shelve this for a while. <laughs> oh boy. It's getting dark. <laughs> it is. Let's you, lighten it up. Let's let's lighten it up with this one. You know Big Boss Man? I do, yeah. He was yeah. never a boss, only an assistant night manager, McMahon. Wow. <laughs> You know, McMahon, if UFC doesn't let Brock Lesnar wear a Universal Championship to the Octagon, Vince has told him to get it tattooed around his waist. <laughs> I think we all know he's never going to lose it. Right. Might as well. Might, Might as, as well. well. Vince McMahon recently instructed WWE Creative to put in orders for 40 special wigs and breast implants to replace all the women with male superstars for the upcoming Evolution paper. <laughs> In addition, I he's secretly it. rehired Brutus the Barber to handle the hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You know, McMahon, the reason it's called sand is because it's between the sea and land. That's oh. pretty good. Yeah. So, all right. The more is you that know, really why it's sand? Yeah. Well, Maybe. obviously. Yeah. Obviously. You know, you can't make some of this stuff up. Yeah. No, you can't. Andrew. Yeah. Well, Anything Mc else, Jesse? <laughs> There's so many more. Well, McMahon, <laughs> oh, no. did you know that China's not actually dead? Oh, boy. Stephanie had her cryogenically frozen to keep her on display in her mansion as a reminder to Triple H of who's really in charge. Okay. Or in case Vince needs a surprise Rumble appearance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, Mandy Rose is the perfected clone of Trish Stratus. They playfully hint at the creator numerous times during her walkout. God's greatest creation. Get it? God. McMahon is God. <laughs> okay. So yeah. that's that's our top wow. ten. That's there's always a them. there's always a clone one in there somewhere. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of clones out yeah. there. Love childs of... and clones. So many clones. Yeah. yeah. Clones. All right. Well, now it's time for fan questions. Mm. Uh, let's see. Caleb Stuckey, what is the best heel turn and face turn in TV history? Not wrestling. Best face or heel oh. turn. Zach Morris on Save by the Bell. Every episode. Every episode. Every episode. Every episode. And then he would so, turn face at the end, too. At the end, he turned face. That's tough. I'm trying to think of some of the greatest shows ever. Because um, Breaking Bad, like Walter White had a, you know, had a few moments. Yeah. But he kind of like slowly, gradually became a bad guy. Right. Greatest face turn ever is Darth Vader. Yeah. But that's a movie. movie I don't know about TV. Yeah. Mm, heel turn. Interesting. I don't know. Right. That's a hard one, man. It is. It Damn. is. I'm trying to think of maybe dark comedies. Hmm. Hmm. There's some heel turns in the new season of Orange is the New Black. What the hell, Eric? Oh, yeah. What the hell? 
Uh, all right, we'll think about that. Maybe we'll come all back right. to it if we can think of any. Uh, Ao, what would uh, would you rather have, super speed or super strength? Ooh. Super speed. I think the speed. Yeah, yeah. It's somewhere fast. I'm gonna yeah. get there. Jesus, let's right? go. But if you run into something really hard, you'll probably die because you don't have like. Yeah, but you wouldn't because you get to see it before you yeah. run into it. Oh, so it's Quicksilver. That it's always more the Flash. Yeah, speed come on. Towers. Get your head in. The it's game. Quicksilver. Okay, Flash sucks in the movies. Quicksilver's ten times better. It's funnier. Yeah. yeah. In, Pop- in the X Men movies, not of the Avengers. No. You know, Quicksilver's not actually dead. Yeah. He's alive. But we're to what? Yeah. So. That's was- conspiracy. Wow. Can we hang nice. up with Jesse now? Yeah. <laughs> Click. Uh, uh, sorry, we lost him. <laughs> Pop culture junkie has WWE completely forgotten that Naomi and Matt Hardy won the Battle Royals at this year's WrestleMania. They never address. That uh, with either one of them on commentary anymore. And where's Braun's greatest Royal Rumble title? Mm. It broke. With all the swords and shit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Marcus Muniz, if Daniel Bryan resigns, do you see him as WWE champion at WrestleMania? Hopefully, yeah. Or at least winning That'd it. would be there. nice. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Duma, if Rousey is indeed the baddest woman on the planet, when Holly Holm goes to WWE, will she be the baddest women in, woman in the universe? Oh, yes. that's yes. some screwed up. Holly Holm won't go to the WWE. She's so boring. Yeah, Ugh. she is. Yes. Uh, we also have a five star review. This is from Danny and Jennifer Bernie. Mm. I first discovered you guys when Andrew did his Stone Cold on the Edge and Christian podcast. Been watching ever since. I'm a proud Patreon. By far the best WWE podcast out there. You guys always keep me rolling. Keep up the great job. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Thank you so much. Wow. Did you type best heel turns in TV history? No, I did not. Should I? Yeah. I don't think it would say heel turn, right? No, probably not. Like, good, gone, bad. <laughs> Girls right. gone wild. Oops. Um, okay. Me in the meantime, I'm going to do my uh, weekly weigh-in. Okay. Holy crap. Oh. All right. Scooch, scooch. He's... Oh, yeah. You know what's a good one? Uh, Ross. Both of my earphones are working. Now. I don't know if you stepped on <gasps> it. But... Mick Foley. No, did you ever watch uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No. Um, the guy who played uh, Angel went bad. Whoa, spoiler alert. <laughs> That's 20 years ago. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Ah, move. What, is, what do we have to be Sorry. here? Sorry. What do we have to be? Do we know? Well, we don't have like a thing anymore. Back up, Eric. No. What was it last week? Last week I was 277. All right, there's three pounds. 274 this week. I believe because you didn't quite hit it last week, I said three pounds. I don't think so you there said you go. but whatever. Oh, they, uh, what is yeah. it? Nancy Botwin in uh, Weeds? Uh-huh. Oh, see, I didn't she watch that heel? show. No. I don't know. Anyways, that's a good one. You know yeah, what? The Buffy the Vampire Slayer one's on there. Okay. Nice. Anyways, next week, we have to do predictions for SummerSlam, gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, we do. Gentlemen. And until then, make sure you subscribe to our podcast and give us a five-star review. Check out our official website, what's wrong with wrestling.com. Like the show on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Wrong Wrestling. We also have T-shirts available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling for just $19.99. And you become a supporter of the show at Patreon.com slash What's Wrong With Wrestling for exclusive rewards and recaps you can't get anywhere else. Yep. Nice. See you next week. SummerSlam predictions. Later. I'm going to win my title back. Boom. I'm going to win my title back. Boom. And either way, Joe's going to lose it. Yep. Nope.
Josh, he's just a troll. What's wrong with wrestling? What's wrong with wrestling? So much wrong with wrestling, oh no. What's wrong with wrestling? What's wrong with wrestling? So much wrong.